Hello everyone. I am Praveen Raj, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Jyoti Engineering College. Today, I am going to discuss with you one of the application side of the friction, is the wedge friction. We all know that uh, the frictional uh, uh, frictional force is the force which opposes the motion. Since it is an opposing force, the direction of the frictional force is opposite to the uh, uh, motion of the wood. Okay. And uh, generally, its wedges are the application side of that uh, friction, uh, the concept of friction. Okay. And uh, let us see uh, how, uh, what is the, uh, what do you mean by a wedge? Okay. Now, uh, wedges are generally, uh, these are metallic or wooden pieces, and usually uh, in triangular or trapezoidal in shape. Uh, 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 the main function or the use of this uh, wedge is uh, to uh, uh, lift the heavy body or uh, uh, we can use it for the slide modification in the position of the board. And uh, that means uh, uh, when you are tightening the uh, fits or keys of the shaft, uh, you can gen uh, uh, normally uh, use the uh, wedges. Okay, and uh, 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 it also uh, it it can be also used for lifting the uh, heavy weight. Uh, so here, mm, in the figure, uh, this uh, ABC is called as the wedge, and uh, this uh, wedge is uh, here used as a uh, as uh, to lift the uh, block uh, EF uh, or DGFE. Okay, so uh, here. Uh, this ABC is the wedge which is which is in triangular in shape and uh, this angle DAC so this angle is called as the wedge angle and uh, you are applying the force on the wedge on this uh, face BC and uh, due to the application of that force on this side BC uh, we can lift the uh, block which is on the uh, wedge okay now uh, 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 the the uh, one of the important assumption in the wedge friction is that the weight of the wedge is comparatively uh, the weight of the wedge is uh, negligible compared to the weight which is to be so uh, we are normally using that assumption in solving the problem and uh, 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 also the wedge problems are the uh, problems of uh, equilibrium on the inclined plane so we have studied the equilibrium of uh, or the frictional problems on the inclined plane and generally these wedges are the uh, basically the uh, problems of equilibrium on the inclined plane okay so uh, the we know that uh, the equilibrium uh, problems can be solved by either the by method of equilibrium uh, 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 the equilibrium method or uh, by applying the lamis theorem so uh, this uh, fr uh, wedge friction problems also can be uh, solved by using these uh, two methods. Now let us see how uh, we uh, solve a problem in the uh, wedge friction. Now for that, uh, let us consider the uh, wedge ABC, which, uh, which we have already seen in the figure and which is normally used to lift the uh, uh, heavy block. Here the block is named as DEFG and uh, W is the weight of the uh, block which is to be lifted and capital W that is the weight of the block uh, or the body uh, which is to be lifted and capital P is the force uh, which is required to lift the board and that is applied on the uh, 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 one phase of the bridge. And uh, mu is the coefficient of friction on the planes A, B, A, C and D such that tan phi is equal to mu. And uh, uh, here uh, in the figure, it is clear that uh, there will be a point of contact between the uh, two surfaces in ED, then AB, then AC. So uh, here mu is the coefficient of friction between all these um, uh, uh, phases. And uh, uh, we taken that uh, coefficient of friction as uh, tan phi, where phi is the angle of uh, friction. Okay. Uh, then. Uh, if you draw the free body diagram of the uh, uh, system, okay, uh, let us uh, see how it comes. So here, uh, if you take in the uh, uh, block which is to be lifted, what are the forces acting on the uh, system? Uh, let us discuss what are the forces. 
know the uh, we know that the weight of the block w is acting in the uh, downward direction and uh, we know that uh, this uh, uh, block will be uh, when uh, when we are applying a force on the vets this block will be moving in the upward direction so that the frictional force on this uh, plane will be acting in the downward direction so that is marked here so f1 is acting in the uh, downward direction and uh, since there is a point of contact between the uh, uh, vertical surface of the blo uh, block and the uh, wall, there will be a normal reaction which is marked as Rn. And we know that this R1 is the uh, resultant of this frictional force and the normal reaction. Okay. And uh, uh, this R1 is the resultant of the frictional force and normal reaction on this plane. And phi is the angle made by the R1 uh, with the normal range. And similarly, on the other phase AB, we know that uh, this uh, 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 when we apply the force on the words, this uh, block on the, the lower face of the block will be moving in the upward direction. So that the frictional force will be acting in the downward direction. So the frictional force on phase AB is F2. Okay. And uh, the... Uh, Normal reaction. Normal reaction on the uh, normal reaction on the uh, inclined plane AB is R into which is perpendicular to the uh, inclined uh, plane. Okay, which is perpendicular to the inclined plane. Here it is marked. And this R2 is the resultant of this frictional force and the normal uh, reaction. Okay. Now uh, these are the forces acting on the uh, block. Now, if you draw the free body diagram of the words, what are the forces? Uh, on the phase AB, this phase AB is common to both the uh, words as well as the block. So, the on the block, we have uh, drawn the uh, force diagram for the uh, phase AB. And uh, when you are considering the uh, words, these forces will be acting in the opposite direction. So, here the R and 2 will be perpendicular to this plane. And when you are considering the uh, uh, phase AB of the words, this will move towards uh, uh, this downward direction so that the frictional force on this phase will be acting in the upward direction. So, just opposite to uh, uh, this direction. So, F2 will be acting in the opposite direction. Okay. Now, uh, uh, R2 is the resultant of this Rn2 and F2. Now, uh, uh, considering the other phase AC, uh, the frictional force, since the wedge is moving towards the side, the frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction, which is F3. And R N3 is the uh, normal reaction, and R3 is the uh, resultant of uh, this uh, normal reaction and the uh, frictional force. Okay. And it makes an angle phi. Okay. So, this is the uh, free body diagram uh, of the wedge. Now, uh, uh, applying the conditions of equilibrium. On the uh, on these two uh, uh, free body diagrams, we can solve the uh, value of p, which is required to lift the block in the upward. Now let us uh, see uh, one example. So here the question is: a block weighing 1,500 newton, overlying a 10 degree vert on a horizontal floor and leaning against a vertical wall be raised by applying a horizontal force to the wedge. Assuming the coefficient of friction between all the contact surface to be 0.3, determine the minimum horizontal force required to raise the block. Okay, now from the uh, uh, data, uh, uh, we can write the uh, given uh, data. The weight of the block W is equal to 1500 Newton and the angle of the wedge and normally that angle of wedge is represented using the letter alpha and here it is given as 10 degree and uh, one more thing is given the coefficient of friction between all the contact surfaces is 0.3 that means uh, the uh, since uh, mu is equal to 0.3 phi is equal to tan inverse of 0.3 which is 16.7 now let p be the uh, minimum force uh, uh, applied in the horizontal direction to raise the block. Okay, now uh, this will be the uh, free body diagram of the system, which we have already discussed in the uh, uh, previous uh, slides. So the system is uh, uh, like this, and here the angle of wedge, wedge is given as 10 degree. Okay, 
now uh, uh, let us see uh, how it is solved here now uh, when you are considering the equilibrium of the block we know that the forces acting on the system are the weight which is 1500 newton acting in the downward direction then a reaction r1 uh, then reaction r2 on the phase uh, r1 on the phase de and r2 on the phase eg of the block okay now uh, applying the conditions of equilibrium now uh, we you know that r1 making angle phi so uh, you are resolving the forces in two horizontal and vertical directions so first of all resolving the horizontal direction we know that r1 into cos uh, the horizontal component is cos 16.7 since phi is 16.7 it is cos 16.7 then the horizontal component of uh, this r2 and here r2 is the an inclined force or which is perpendicular to the plane inclined plane ab so the total angle made by uh, this r2 with the horizontal is uh, uh, with the vertical is uh, this 5 plus 10 degree which is uh, uh, 10 plus uh, 16.7 and uh, its uh, vertical component is uh, cos of r2 into cos of uh, 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 10 plus 5 and we are uh, dealing with the horizontal component so the horizontal component is towards le uh, left side which is r2 into sine of 10 plus 16 point which is equal to r2 into sine 26.7 and from that uh, we will get uh, the equation for r2 as r2 is equal to 2.13 2 times r1 now uh, similarly we resolve the forces in the vertical direction uh, we will get r1 into uh, sin 16.7 plus this 1500 is equal to r2 into cos uh, 26.7 and on solving uh, we will get the value of r1 as uh, 19,077 uh, newton okay uh, substituting the values and solving we will get r1 as 1977 newton now similarly we draw the Everybody diagram of the verge and we uh, applying the conditions of equilibrium here here the uh, reaction r2 uh, of the r, uh, r2 is the reaction of the block on the verge then uh, force p is applied in the horizontal direction and r3 is the reaction on the face yes okay so here uh, the figure comes like p is the force then r3 is the reaction uh, uh, between the reaction between the or the resultant between the normal reaction and the uh, frictional okay. now uh, uh, here uh, uh, this r2 value we have already found out from the previous case now uh, resolving the forces in uh, vertical direction first resolving the forces in vertical direction we will get uh, r3 into cos 16.7 so this the uh, r3 makes angle 5 with the vertical so r3 into cos 16.7 is equal to r2 into cos uh, uh, here the uh, horizontal component is uh, r2 into cos uh, 10 plus 16.7 uh, which is 26.7 and uh, solving that we will get r3 is equal to 18.44 newton now we resolve the forces in the horizontal direction we will get the value of p Okay, so uh, considering the horizontal component of this R2 and R3 and equating that horizontal component with the applied force P, we will get the value of P as uh, uh, 1418.3. Okay, and this is how we solve the problems uh, from the wedge. Uh, I hope that this uh, section is clear to everyone and we will meet another topic in the next. Thank you.